Hello everyone, and what do you know? It is a Thursday, and we have a bins haul. I'm shocked, I'm shook, and I can't believe it. Before we get into the bins haul though, I do want to thank everyone that left super awesome comments on the last video, and all of you that seem to really like the last video. So if you missed the Tuesday video, I went consigning with some of the bins finds that I found on this trip to the bins. I purposefully picked out a bunch of seasonal pieces to bring to a local clothes mentor and we saw how much we could make bringing that there. So I'm not gonna give away, obviously, the the outcome from that. But if you missed it, it went up on Tuesday. It was the last video that went up, but it seems like a lot of you really, really liked that video. So I definitely will keep in mind that that is something that I or we should do in the future, whether it be a clothes mentor one or I do a Play-Dohs one or something like that. Definitely something that I will keep in mind. So thank you guys for watching that and leaving such nice informative comments. But of course, when I went to the bins and got all that stuff, I also got stuff for me to sell as well. Now, I did say this in that video, but the bins did not hit as hard for my own stuff to sell as it did for the consignment store. So I kind of had a rough day getting stuff for me to sell. There were some gems here and there, but it just wasn't like the cart filler that I'm usually hoping for. Then I decided to go to the bins yesterday, which was Wednesday aka the day that I'm filming this. So yes, I did just get back from the bins. Once again, it was kind of the same situation. It was not a cart filler, though there were gems. So I do have some really good stuff to show you. Thank goodness I went twice, because now together they make a pretty good bins haul with some really good stuff. It just took me two trips to do this. One thing that I want to say before we jump into it, actually, if you guys remember a haul two or three ago, I talked about a woman named Stephanie. Now, Stephanie was there with me and she was a viewer or is a viewer. She's someone that watches Ryan and I. And I saw her there. She gave me some freaking gems. She gave me some amazing pieces because she just didn't want to list them. And Stephanie ended up being at the bins again this week. So Stephanie did give me a couple more things that I will definitely point out when we get to those things, but I was like, Stephanie, I need to like shout you out. Give me your Poshmark closet. Give me something. So I did get Stephanie's Poshmark closet and it will be the first link below. And her Poshmark is Diego and Sammy, D-I-E-G-O, a-N-D-S-A-M-M-I. I'm gonna link her below. Please go say thank you for me. I mean, I thanked her in person, but please just be like, oh my gosh, you're the best. Thank you for giving Jack these amazing things. She told me also that she does lives, like selling live shows, and she does really good deals. She's just someone that doesn't want to hold on to inventory for very long. So she gives things away to people she likes, like me, or she also just sells stuff really cheap. So that's another benefit of going to check out her closet. So definitely do that. Like I said, first link below. I suppose let's jump right into the bins haul. So I do have two bags to show you first and then it's all clothing. And I do think I'm going to do the first bins trip first and then the second bins trip second. Both of the bags are from the first bins trip. And the first one is we're starting off with a banger. This is a really, really, really good find. I recognized this right when I saw it and I was like, please don't be some kind of like target knockoff or target imitation. But I've had this bag before. And this is actually a convertible backpack, really high quality leather bag. And luckily upon grabbing it and inspecting it, it is what I was hoping it would be and it is a All Saints bag. I don't exactly know the name of it, but like I said, I just know it's convertible. So it can be like a tote, it can be a backpack. I think it might be expandable and maybe it can even be like a shoulder bag somehow. But this thing is so nice. I think this is the only All Saints bag I've ever had. So maybe they just don't make that many or something, or maybe this one is just really popular, but it does have some wear marks to it. Actually, last time I had it, it was basically the exact same situation and it's still sold for a ton. I don't remember right off the top of my head how much it sold for, but it sold for a lot. This thing probably retails for like four to five hundred dollars. So nice, super excited to find it. It's also the same color as the other one I had. This might 
be a bigger version? Possibly. That's the only difference that is possible. Next up, we have another bag that I actually have had slash have in my closet. So this is a Lululemon bag and Stephanie did hand me this one. It does need to be cleaned a bit on the inside and the outside, but I'm literally just gonna wash it because it's just nylon. I can just take the strap off and wash the actual, actual wash the actual bag. <laughs> I personally had this bag in a dusty rose floral print and I'm currently selling that in my closet. So now I have two of these. I think it's like the something ohm bag is somehow what it's called. Ohm the run or so I, you know, those Lulu titles, I, I don't, maybe it's this. Go your own way. <laughs> I don't think that is it, but obviously this bag is really into the like ohm thing. Once I clean this, She'll be great, and I'm really excited to get that, so thank you to Stephanie for that one. Then I found a Pendleton scarf. This is a vintage Pendleton scarf. I don't have the dates of the tags memorized, but I would say this is probably like 50s, 60s. I'll have to look it up. I don't know what authentic black watch tartan means, but that's what it says right there. I don't think there are any moth holes in this. No, there are not. At the center where it's been creased, it's like a little thinner. I mean, not really. You can only tell when you hold it up to the light. It's a little thinner at the middle crease, but that's totally fine. I'm shocked there's no moth holes. Almost every time I find a Pendleton scarf, there are moth holes. But as per usual with Pendleton, the wool is insane on that thing. So that's fantastic. Then I found one of my favorites. Oh, I love these things. So it is the J. Crew sweater blazer. This is an extra small and it's in this beautiful bubblegum pink. So cute. As you can see, it has a couple marks on the sleeves, but luckily this is the cotton version, so I can wash it and I'm just gonna spot treat that with Oxy and wash it. But these things always have different labels in them. This one's the black label, so at least it's not outlet. Even though, honestly, any label sells just as well for me. So I was pumped to find that. I think I've sold two of those in like the past two or three weeks. Then we have a free people that I honestly might consign, but I need to wash this as well. So it's a We The Free. I have no clue at this point if that's like a newer or older label. It's extra small and it's just this like black soft kind of fleece cowl neck. I think it's a little too plain for me. I'm sure the retail's like 68, 78 on this. So I probably honestly will consign that. Then Stephanie did throw me these. So these are some pants and they are by Escada and they are a size 42. I don't exactly know what that means, but they are some wool pants with these like pleats at the front, really cute, wide leg or straight leg. They have some spots throughout them, so they do need to be cleaned. I should be able to clean them up and I just will list them not crazy high. Escada honestly does even worse than St. John and St. John doesn't do that good. But of course in the bins, if she's offering me an Escada, I will take the Escada. Love finding any luxury at the bins. Next up, we have a blazer and this is Banana Republic. It is the long and lean blazer in a size 12. And it's just this single button classic black blazer. I do really like to sell Banana Republic blazers, not as much as J. Crew. I'd say like Ann Taylor and Banana Republic are like my second favorite tier of mall brand blazers to sell. Then we have a torrid piece. This is adorable and right up my alley. It's a torrid size three or three X and it is this gold metallic skull sweater. It has like a scoop neck to it. It's in really good shape, not pilly or anything. So freaking cute. And as we have said many times, I love to find like gothic torrid. That's always the stuff that does the best for some reason. Then this is another freaking adorable sweater. So this is actually men's and it's by Top Man, which is not a brand I would pick up very often. This is a size extra large, but this is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> it is this like skier guy sweater. So adorable. When I looked it up, it looks like it's kind of like a knockoff of a really expensive Polo Ralph Lauren sweater, but that's fine. <laughs> it's so freaking cute. XL is not Ryan or I's size, so we will not be keeping this, but it is so, let me just say it again. 
So cute. Next up is another knit piece. So clearly I am shopping very seasonally. This is actually Banana Republic again. This is a size large tall. And this is an extremely, extremely soft sweater dress actually. It's like a midi, like above the knee midi, but also if it's tall, it's probably like a at the knee midi dress with these cable knit sleeves. This thing is so soft. Unfortunately, the label on the inside is cut out, so I don't know what it's made out of, but it's just so soft. It's like a blanket. Then we have a Zara piece. So this is a Zara size large. And this gives me total Emilio Pucci vibes. So like funky psychedelic, like 60s or something. This is so cute, not missing any buttons. All of a sudden I was like, is it missing the bottom button? No, I just didn't button it. So cute. This is a Zara that I would sell myself just because of how adorable and in style it is. So that is up my closet. That's what I was gonna say. So for sure, the first half of stuff that I'm showing you guys is listed. So if anything interests you guys, all this is listed and all of it as a filming is available. No one has bought this stuff. I will tell you when we move on to the stuff from today, Wednesday, and that stuff is most likely not gonna be listed yet, but it will go up by the weekend. So next up, we have a free people piece. And when I told you guys that did I tell you? No, I think I just told Ryan this. So when I was there getting stuff to consign, obviously my main goal was to get the stuff to consign. Though, I mean, I do want stuff to sell too. That is my job. But <laughs> when I was there, it had been an hour and a half and I had a decent chunk of stuff to bring to the consignment store, 10 maybe items, which isn't bad, but I had one thing <laughs> for myself to sell and it was this free people top. After an hour and a half, And that's a lot like how today went too. So thank goodness it slowly picked up over time, but those first hour and a half, both days were freaking painful. So this is just a Free People Movement Athletic Top. This is supposed to be split here. It is not like a split seam. So your like stomach or like upper abdomen shows through this. The neck is kind of like a boxy boat neck. And then there are some thumb holes to it as well. And it's clearly a crop top. I have not found the model picture for this yet, but I don't think I've looked yet. So this is a medium large, super, super stretchy. So it's supposed to be like a form fitting athletic top. Free people movement like doesn't really do that good for me. I'm not like a huge fan of it, but at the bins, I will pick it up. Sometimes I just consign it, but I guess I'll try that. I don't know. This is really, really cute. And I'm sorry that the sun is starting to come up behind me. I'm doing that thing again where I film at like 3.30 <laughs> and it's right at the sunset and I'm on the wrong side of the wall. So this is a evergreen colored turtleneck mock neck sweater. So, so cute. And I feel like this is just so trendy and modern and 2023 to wear like single color mock neck, very just classy pieces. That just seems like the vibe for this year. And this is like the perfect holiday or Christmas green. This is actually by J. Crew. And though this label might be confusing, like how old is that? This is actually a really new label. This is a size extra small. This is one of their like labels that they're bringing back or something. J. Crew likes to keep us on our toes with the labels. I don't know if it's entertaining to them. I don't know if they get new directors or designers all the time that just want to change them. I like, I don't, I can't see a reason why they would want to change the label so often, but I cannot think of another brand that changes their labels more often than J. Crew. And then the weirdest thing ever that I'm just thinking about now is J. Crew and Madewell are the same company and Madewell has basically never changed their label ever. They took off the like established 1987 or whatever. That's it. Or else they've never changed it. And then the J. Crew labels, it's like every freaking season we have a new label. And they're not even always new. Sometimes they're just reusing them. Something like the black label. The black label has been used for like 15 years and it comes and it goes and it's on random pieces. Like, anyways, I did not expect to go on that side tangent, but this is from holiday 2022. So this is just becoming a year old. So, so cute. I was actually really excited to find that. 
There's some J. Crew pieces that I genuinely get like really, really pumped about. This is a Stephanie Fine that she threw me and it's a rails piece, size medium. It's like an army green leopard printed jacket in kind of like a chambray material. This is a snap in zip jacket and this retailed for like $200. Now, unfortunately rails, since they're known for flannels, the flannels are definitely what do the best. I would say second to flannels is like maybe Maybe sweaters, but even the sweaters don't do that good. So really with rails, like I probably wouldn't have paid almost anything for this. Like I wouldn't get this unless it was maybe like eight bucks or less at a different store. The flannels though, I will still pay up for. And I'm like the only person that does and almost ever has liked their flannels. This is a really good find. I love this brand. And this brand would be borderline going on to like favorite brands of all time list. So this is Love the Label. This is a size small. Love the Label a lot of times is anthro, but it's not always, but it's always expensive. I feel like it's very similar to Faithful the brand, how they used to be, but now Faithful is not, not that good. This is a really, really pretty bohemian printed puff sleeve, ruffle sleeve, balloon sleeve, floral top. I was like, are there any birds? I don't think so. But I think the thing with Love the Label is it's always this like really nice cotton. Like when I talk about how I love the J. Crew pieces that are that like cotton, usually made in India. Yeah, and this is made in India. Made in India cotton and made in India or printed in India, like cotton prints are just staples. Like they're amazing and I love people pieces like that. That's always a good sign. If something's like cotton and bohemian and there is a label in it that says made in India, Google it if you don't know what it is. That's always a good sign in my opinion. So we have four pieces left from day one. As you can see, once again, like this is not a bad haul, not a bad haul, but just the time it took me to accumulate. No, just kidding. We have five left. Six, five, five. The time it took me to accumulate this stuff was what was so frustrating. So this is Vince, size small. This is from Stephanie. These are some like wine Cabernet Sauvignon <laughs> colored pull-on pants. They do split at the back, so they're not like a skinny pant. They're more of like a kind of like, you could put it around like a boot or something like that. This is very like subtle luxury to me. I love this color, super cute. And for printed pants or like colored dyed pants, I feel like this is a more like quiet, cute color. Then we have some jeans and these jeans are actually Banana Republic. These are so adorable. They are called the Barrel Jean and these are a size 31 or 12. So they're a great size. And the Barrel Jean is this like, basically like a balloon jean. It's super, super wide, but then it kind of comes in at the ankle, but the, it's not skinny at the ankle. Like the ankle's maybe the width of like a straight leg jean. And then the jean itself is like a wide leg jean. So these are adorable and I couldn't pass them up. And they're like, they're very soft. They're not cheap feeling, but they are very soft. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> that they're soft. Okay, next up is a bougie brand, a luxury brand, and that is Magashoni. And this is normal Magashoni, not M Magashoni. So M Magashoni, if you find it, it has the big M above the word, is sold at TJ Maxx. And I think that's like the only place it's sold. It might be at Nordstrom Rack, but either way, it's not expensive. Even though some of their pieces are like really soft and nice, but Magashoni is the high-end one. So this I almost would call like a deer print. It's not supposed to be, but does this not remind you of like Bambi's coloring? <laughs> like the speckly tan to white or like a deer tail. That's just like all I could think of with this especially this back. So this is like a duster cardigan. And back in the day, this would be something I would send into the real real. <laughs> now in the day, today in the day, absolutely not. Cause if they take it from me, they would probably list it at like $40 and I would get zero. I'd get like three. I'm good. I will list that myself. Next up, this is a me find, not Stephanie, even though she usually finds all the good stuff. <laughs> And I'm proud of this one. This is a cute freaking find. So these are free people. They're a size large. These are pants in this stunning like paisley green print with these big old rope drawstrings to them. And they are 
<laughs> I'd call them barrel legs. They are like harem joggers. They're super, super wide and flowy, but then they do have like the elastic at the ankle. They also have elastic at the back, so they'd be really comfortable too. But they're so wide that if you hold it up, or probably even if you wore them and just stood straight, you'd almost think this is like a maxi skirt. But I am really proud of myself for finding these. I think they're adorable and they're a very good free people piece to find. Last piece from day one is once again, really pretty. So this is a dress and it's by a brand that I think I've had once. Ryan's maybe had more than me. It's called Ishakti. And Ishakti, I believe, makes like prints of dresses and then you like custom order the dress in like your size. And you can give measurements, I think, is how this brand works. But this actually does have a size. It's a 2X or a 20. And it is this dress that is the most stunning, cute, adorable, whimsical print. There are deer, obviously deer are the theme for the day. There are deer, bambies all over it. There are birds. There are like really picturesque flowers. This is so cute. And I don't, always get a Shakti. Oh, there's bunnies too. I don't always get a Shakti because I have seen some of the bins that I skip because they sometimes use materials that are pretty heavy. Then if they're heavy and they're like just black or just like red, I don't get them. But if they're fun like that, definitely. And that's super lightweight material. So it costs me like nothing. So that's great. Now let's move on to day two or Wednesday. Fun fact. Fun fact about Wednesdays. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. So then I was like, fun fact about... Wednesday the 6th, December 6th, yesterday, if you're watching this on Thursday, is the one year anniversary of Ryan and I touring our house for the first time, which is wild. That's crazy. We stepped into this house that I'm in right now, so used to. I've had like multiple holidays in it now, but it's the one year anniversary. And on this day, a year ago, we went to the bank just thinking like, oh, let's see if we're like emotionally, physically, monetarily, fiscally ready to even look at houses. We sit down. He's like, you are. Want to get pre-approved? We do. He's like, wanna be set up with a realtor? He sets us up with one. He's like, you, do you like any houses right now? We're like, yeah, there's this one that's in our area that we have looked at and saved on Zillow. He's like, wanna go to it? We did. We put in an offer that night, wild. If you wanna know the house story, we did upload that almost a year ago now. But that's crazy that it's been a year. That's, it feels like it's been a lot longer. Like I, I hardly like mentally with how much has happened this year, the thought of like us living at Debbie's seems so like so in the past now. Anyways, not what we're here to talk about. Let's continue the haul with the sixth. And yes, Stephanie was here again today. So there's a couple more pieces from Stephanie. First up is this, I never know what to call these, like the better sweater type things. Like, is it a jacket or a sweatshirt? Probably like a sweatshirt, but this is actually by Steo. So Steo is a quite expensive athletic brand from Wyoming. This is a woman's medium. I've had it like two or three times. Every time I have it, it does really good. Their logo is like a little, it's almost like a hop, like a beer hop or an acorn or pine cone, whatever you wanna think of it as. But it does really good and it's quite expensive. So I was pumped to find that. Next up is Abercrombie & Fitch. This is a size large. I was not sure if I wanted to get this, then I looked up comps and I was like, okay. So this is a green knit, kind of like boxy neck bodysuit. It's ribbed, it's really adorable. It's in a really pretty green. And the comps on this are like, $55. So it was in my like, should I get it or should I not pile? And then I was like, I mean, sure. Like, how can you argue with that? Then we have another Banana Republic blazer. This one I like even more. It's a size two and I'm not like super great on my Banana Republic labels and like their age, but this is a beautiful plaid blazer with this fun black trim to it. And then the inside is like window pane printed. This is from 2018, so it's not like super old or anything, but it's really cute and it must be new without tags because it still has the little dongle on it, but that is 
freaking cute. This was like my first wine of the day today. And though it took me like another hour and a half, this was a really good one. So this is a Sundance piece. And that is the newer Sundance label in that like teal blue, size medium. It is a mohair blend. And I need to sweater shave this just a little and clean like one or two spots on it. But it's this color block sweater that says, let it snow. Come on, this is so cute. I would like pay 10 or so dollars at a consignment store or thrift store for this. So cute. And I love black and white color block so much. Then this is a Stephanie find and this is a really good piece. This is Spanx and I'm not so into Spanx anymore, but that's really for leggings especially ones that are medium or smaller. Large enough, I will definitely consider. And then any of these Spanx like dress pants or jeans, I do still like minus the skinny jeans. So these are Spanx size large, so already great. They're jeans already good again, and they are flared. So this is like exactly the kind of Spanx that I'm still into. These should do really, really good. Really excited about these. So thank you to Stephanie for the Spanx jeans. I'm pretty pumped about them. Oh, and this is probably my favorite find of the day, just because of what it is. It's not the best find of the day, but it's amazing in my eyes. And it is a sweater that is by Mod Cloth. It's a 2X, so it's a great size. And this is the Mod Cloth Fair Isle Halloween Ghost Sweater. Oh, boo, oh my gosh. I'm so pumped. I love finding stuff like this all year round. Mark my words, this will probably sell before, before <laughs> Halloween, before October, probably before even like August. I, I will bet this will sell even like before August. The Halloween people, whoever they are, are really into Halloween and they like to buy it all year round. Next up is Everlane. And this is an Everlane pair of jeans in size 24. These are the rigid way high jean. So it's a really good style too, even though 24 is quite small. They're button fly. I think this is the last thing I found today, like at the bins. And they're straight leg and really high. High cotton count, high cotton percentage. Really, really nice. Everlane has slightly fallen off, but I think we just said this one video ago, two videos ago. Everlane and Madewell jeans can still do really good if they're a good style like that is. This is a William Sonoma piece and it's 100% cotton. <laughs> and it's a William Sonoma Star Wars piece. <laughs> and I kind of assume that this is like teen or kids, but it is this R2D2 apron. Really cute. I honestly, I only, picked it up because it was sitting in the bin like this. So the William Sonoma label was just sticking up and I was like, what is it? It's an R2-D2 apron. That's what it is. So cute. And I'm sure since it's a collab, this is limited edition. So that should do pretty good even if it is kids. Okay, there's like two things I'm saving here. I think I'm gonna save till the end. One's a really fun print and a really fun piece that I found. And then one's a really good piece that Stephanie found. So you're gonna have to wait till the end for those. Though we are closing in on the end anyways, so don't worry. Oh, Stephanie did find me some Halloween vintage apron, or not aprons. Um, oh, they're like, they're almost like scarves. Look at how cute the ghost is. <gasps> Stephanie, I love these. They're so cute. Okay, I found a Lulu piece, a Lululemon piece. There's the Lululemon logo. I found it while all the like Lulu loving people were around me. I don't think they noticed, but I am not into finding Lulu as much as everyone else. It's overrated. It's very like Patagonia to me. I'm just like, yay. I guess. I think I have two Lulu pieces, but the other one is somewhere else in here. So next up is a thermal little top, super soft, super nice, very basic. But again, like the vibe of 2023 is quite basic. This is actually Peruvian Connection. For some reason, the label is cut out at the top, but it's nice because it's right here. Though there's no size, but that's okay. It's cotton polyester blend. I think Peruvian Connection doesn't do as good as it used to do. I'm pretty sure it was in our last NOLO list because the last few times I've had it, it has been very hard to sell, but I'm hoping that that's like a staple. And if I don't price it too high, it'll do okay. Next. No, this is not a pair of Levi's shorts. And no, this isn't even a pair of denim shorts. It's actually a top. And I definitely, when it was in the bin, thought it was some shorts. This is a Maeve piece. 
So anthro, and it's a size extra small. It's really cute. It's really kind of funky and really interesting. <laughs> That's what I have to say about that. Stephanie threw me these and these are so adorable. They are Bowden, newer label, size eight. These I believe are wool, at least a wool blend. Polka dot plaid pants. Though this isn't like in style for everyone, for the Bowden woman, this is like right up their alley. They also have this cute little split in the ankle. So adorable and they are 49% wool and then a bunch of other stuff. But these are really cute. She said she doesn't like to sell Bowden. And I was like, well, when you find it, just give it to me. I will gladly take it off your hands. Okay, I'd say we have maybe like eight more pieces. So next up is first time I'm trying this brand. Ryan's had it once and I'm fairly certain it does really, really good. It's a newer brand and it's called Arula. Actually, it is just altered state, but it's their plus size store. And I don't think a lot of people know that, but yes, it's just altered state. You can really tell by like the vibe in the store, but I don't like to sell altered state, but Arula is supposed to do really well. So this is a really adorable sleeveless, like peplum striped top with some metallic silver mixed in. It's a size C and I will have to look up what that means. But the one time that Ryan did, and it's a style number, that's nice. The one time Ryan had it, it sold for a lot and it sold quick. So I'm really excited to give it a shot and I hope I can get these spots out now that I just noticed them. There's like some pink spots. We'll have to see. Next we have, oh yeah. I had luck with Lulu this time, which is weird because I haven't found Lulu in forever. This is a Lulu piece and it even has the tag. It is a one size fits all cotton polyester and silk blend. And it is actually a poncho, a really nice poncho at that too, because I used to think that like the sweaters and jackets were like, oh, well those do good. It's just the Lulu basics that don't do good, but I'm totally on the page now of like, it's just nothing that does good from Lulu, except the bags maybe. This I can just tell is like nicer and newer. Also, I guess even just being a silk blend makes it quite a bit nicer than a lot of the Lulu that I would run into day to day. So I'm excited about that. Here is where the power of Google Photos reverse image search comes in. So there's this funky multicolor cat sweater and it has this really fun like seam detailing all over. And I was like, this, there's no label, but this is much higher quality than just like some Shein or something. I didn't know this label either. I was like, I don't know, but I should just reverse image search it. Sure enough, I did. And this is actually a, Lisa Todd. <laughs> Lisa Todd, this is a Lisa Todd sweater. All of a sudden I was like, what is that brand called? Lisa Todd sweaters are really expensive. Also the stitch, like all these are different like types of yarn and material. The whisker dots are like studs. This is almost like a wool tweed. Lisa Todd is really expensive and they make really fun, cute sweaters. So I love to sell Lisa Todd and I'm really excited that I reverse image search that. Next up is another Lululemon piece that I found when I was standing around all the Lulu people. And normally a tank top from Lulu would be a bing, like consign, get it out of my face for me. But since it's camo, I'm gonna give it a shot. So it's just a power Y. I don't know, it's nice. It's not sticky. It's not weird at all. Like there's no issues. The label's not wearing off. It's in really good shape. So I'll list it and give it a shot. Then we have a Super Down piece, which Super Down is a Revolve brand. Super Down, size small. I had found this and I skipped it. And then Stephanie was like, do you want this? Because it's Revolve. And I was like, you're right. Maybe I should get this. So Super Down isn't like Revolve's most expensive brand, but this is really cute. Very like lampshade skirt. <laughs> Basic, cute, weighed nothing. And if I can't sell it, I will consign it. Then I found this bra, this bra. Really, really nice, intricate, like lingerie lace bra. And for some reason, I just felt like checking, like, what is this? Upon looking at the label, this is actually a Emporio Armani bra. So <laughs> expensive. Now I even notice that the straps say Emporio Armani. I don't know what the retail on this would be because I just got home and I haven't looked this up yet, but a lot, I'm sure. It's really, really nice. And this is a size 32 double D. Nice. 
three more things and the last two are the ones that i was kind of hyping up so next up we have a white very clean very nice turtleneck sweater and i only say very clean because of course like white in the bins is horrifying but it's like a mock neck very similar to that green j crew and <laughs> wouldn't you know it's j crew of the same label this is a size extra large and this one is from spring of 2023. So it's even newer than the green one. And this one is a cotton blend, which I think the green one was too. But this is definitely not the same sweater because it's not like cable knit or anything. Anything that looks like a spot is just a wrinkle. This is in fantastic shape. And that was the main thing that sold me on it was like, wow, for being white clothing in the bins. Look at this is like shiny white, like beautiful. Okay, last two things. We are gonna show the thing Stephanie gave me first. Stephanie found this. Stunning, very like bridal maxi skirt. Fully lace, beautiful. Floral, crazy high quality, crazy insane amazing. And it is Isabel Morant. Not even Etoile Isabel Morant, it is just Isabel Morant. Stunning. It must have been cleaned a couple times because this label is like blank now, but it's a size 36, which I think is like a small or extra small. Beautiful. If somebody was having like a wedding or bridal photo shoot, or if you were like doing some modern like beach two piece, oh my gosh. If you had this in more of a like bralette style and then you wore this maxi skirt with it, like for this fun, like intimate, wedding moment pretty if you did like a lace cami stunning so stephanie i will cherish this thank you very much no i will not wear it myself but i will cherish the fact that you gave it to me and i will sell it with pride and i will make you proud next and last is a find of my own and it was the this was the last thing i found that's right so it is my brand called new works n-o-o-w-o-r-k-s i believe ryan has had this before and i will have to ask him and this is a made in the usa brand it's a small brand but it's an expensive brand and they make very special prints that once they're done making them they're very hard to find and they have like a cult following it is this dress maxi dress or probably like shin length midi dress, fully printed in this really fun, I like, what is happening? Like butterflies, teapots, hearts, plants, flowers, caterpillars, leaves that are all alive and thriving and smiling, doing all kinds, like hugging each other, like partying, looking at each other, like, Wild, wild print. I have a feeling that this little gem is gonna go for a lot. Their maxi dresses alone like go for 150, but the thing with new works is I'm pretty sure almost everything goes up in value because when they're gone, they are gone. So this is a fantastic find. Write that brand down if you do not know it. And I am just gonna quickly cut it off here because <laughs> this has been really long. But let me know what your favorite finds were of mine for this week's bins haul. I'm sure I'll be back with another one next week. Actually, my cousin already invited me to go to the bins with her next Monday because she's in town for Christmas break. So that's gonna be really fun. So I definitely am going to the bins and I definitely will show you guys what I get. But let me know what you guys wanna see on Tuesday. I'm totally open to any suggestions. Otherwise, I will see you on Saturday with Ryan for a regular What's old Saturday. Goodbye.